Greetings once again. I've got a little tip, and I don't know why I've never thought of this before. The vast majority of things I have, like this little tablet there, and the GoPro that you're sitting in, come with a little micro SD card. And most PCs and laptops still need a full size card to go in the card reader, so you have this little adapter. And I'm constantly losing it and it drives me mad. So where is the best place to keep this? Well, in the laptop itself. There we go. Goes in there. And I'll never lose that again. And because there's nothing actually connected to it, there's no chip in there, it's just a bare adapter. The laptop doesn't think there's anything connected, doesn't open a box, doesn't do anything. And you're good to go. Cheers. A little a tingle, shall we? Good idea, Ollie. Well, it's upside down. That's better, we're the right way up now. Turn the lights on as well. <laughs> I've come to Felixstowe. Actually, I only really came to Felixstowe to go to Argos to pick a few things up, so I thought I'd walk down through the gardens and have a look at them while we're here. You can never tell if a rose is going to smell or not. They're quite sweet. Not overpowering, but very pretty. Well, you can see a lot of the, the front here at Felix Day from up here. Got the Spa Pavilion Theatre. Had many a good laugh in there. And you can see the pier. You can't go out along the pier now because it's got too old and crumbly but they've rebuilt the amusement arcade at the front and it's very smart now you get nice fish and chips there if you want it and in the background you've got Felixstowe docks and there is one massive ship there being loaded up you might pop down that way on the way out of Felixstowe because you can have a nice close-up look at Langard Fort viewing area. So perhaps we'll go that way out of town. So it suddenly dawned on me. I haven't had a paddle this year. 
Let's have a paddle in the sea. Oh. When you get to my age, you have to make these little involuntary noises when you sit down. It's the law. Let's go and have a go. I bet it's freezing. Not too bad. Some very big black clouds up there. Staying for long, did I? <laughs> Never mind. These grasses are nice. A busy little chap. done a good job here. Well I've done my shopping in the high street. I'm supporting my high streets as much as I can. I've ordered a couple of things from Amazon today I must admit but the other things I can get in the high street and I've got the time to come out here so I went to Argos and picked up a SD card for me mum and a cheap watch that she's ordered for work because she's wearing a nice watch for work and you're ruining it so she might as well have a cheap one. Went to Tesco's, bought some runner beans, love runner beans and I'm going to try and pack up cigars because just recently I've, I've given up smoking for a long time just recently I've given into temptation and had the odd cigar and that's turning in the odd cigar is turning into a regular cigar and we can't have that because I was such a good boy for such a long time so I went to the vape emporium and they are on 111 Hamilton Road Felixstowe that's in the high street near the cinema just up from the cinema between Prezzo's and the cinema they're really nice people in there. He talked me through it. No pressure, no sales talk, just tell me what I need to buy. So I've got some Havana tobacco, which is a bit sort of cigar-y I suppose, and an Orca Solo. <laughs> and it's already out of the box, but perhaps I'll do a little review on it. quite like smoking so I hope it's better for all the smoking time will tell I suppose but um, I think that's a good move really I enjoy smoking but I don't want to get back into the habit so uh, there you go tell you what on the way out of town we'll go via the docks and we'll see if there's a nice big ship there to look at so if you're in Phoenix Star on holiday come down this way head towards the docks you'll see this little sign post here that says Langard Point up Viewpoint Road and right down the end of the road is a little car park There's even something good to see in the car park. We've got two extremes here, look. A tiny little smart car. And a massive car. American car, it's a fleet with Look at that. And there's a cafe, get yourself something to eat, some drink. And then there's the port. 
Let's walk down and have a look. It's a good place to come because you can have a paddle. Kids can have a little paddle. You can watch the comings and goings. Look at that massive ship. You think each of those containers is the size of a lorry? And you can have a paddle, throw some stones in. On the far bank you've got Harridge. I suppose you can see all the way down to Frinton, I suppose, it'd be over there. But that's Harwich. Harwich docks are sort of just up there in Shotley. It's real squinty weather today. When I was cool as a teenager, I'd be wearing sunglasses all throughout the winter every day of the year because I was cool then but I haven't owned any sunglasses for years I never wear them so I just squint a lot gives me crow's feet there I expect have you noticed how much I blink it's one thing I have noticed about myself watching these videos back blinky boy that's what I am Right next door to the viewing area is Langard Fort. There's a much older building behind here that was Napoleonic. And uh, there's a good museum in there. Last time I went there, there's a little chap who does a ghost tour, a little tour of the place and tells a little ghost story. And he's an amusing chap, so that's worth a visit. And this, of course, is World War II gun establishments. I think there was two guns there, one there and one there. Years ago before this place was more developed and turned into a more uh, uh, sort of up-to-date tourist attraction we used to go in there at night time and, and sit up the top there. You do all sorts of things when you're young that you shouldn't. We didn't cause any harm, it was good fun. I walk along here just a little bit further. Never walked up here before, Let's see if there's anything to see. Actually, if you walk back this way, you can see back round, you get a bit more of a sense of the scale of the place. Loads of ships there. Radar, whatever you call it, spinning around there. It spins around quite quickly, doesn't it? We'll wander over there and have a little look, shall we? A bit more of a World War II or Second World War. Been some rum deeds going on in here by youths, I reckon, don't you? <laughs> Radar tower. It's a really stout tower. That's not going to move, is it? For more than 20 years, Langard Radar Tower has been integral to Harwich Haven Authority's vessel transfer services. That's a curious looking building. Let's have a closer look. I wouldn't want to be sitting in there really if the Germans had made it this far. I suppose you can see out to sea. And you'd be in here with your machine gun or whatever. Ready to put up a bit of a fight.
Mm, spooky, isn't it? I think I'd feel rather trapped if I was in here when I saw the Germans coming up the beach. I wonder if I could be cheeky and hop on the roof. I'm going to be naughty. Up we get. Come on, GoPro. Well, you get a good view. Be protecting the entrance to the river. That is the river all well, by the way, up, up that way. I've done very well with my river identification, I know, but that is an actually classic shape to deflect anything coming in. There's a really high tower there. Sitting there, looking out through this slit. I suppose they're glad they never had to do anything. Spooky remnant of at times I'm afraid. Let's see if I can get down without breaking my neck. It's easier said than done. There was a window here to put my foot in. I think I'm just gonna jump. Oh there we go. There we go. Boom. See that little yellow boat coming in? I think it's the foot ferry to Harwich. They'll take you across to Harwich. I think by the looks of it, you just step off the beach onto it. Surely not. Let's have a look and see what it does. It's a little bit in the distance, but yeah, it just comes right up to the beach. And off you get. Yeah, that's neat. Chap just got on there with his bicycle. That takes you all the way to Harwich. And it's a monumental trip via road from here to Harwich. I suppose if you left Felixstowe, my car now, I'd get to Harwich in about 45 minutes, an hour. So the River Orwell's quite long, you've got to go all the way back to the Orwell Bridge. You've got to go all the way down to Manning Tree and then take a left, which is miles in that direction. So if I was to race that man on his bicycle, he'd get there long before me. There you go, they're off back out. To Harwich. HarwichHarbourFerry.com. Use your website if you want to go for a trip on that one. That turns on a dime, doesn't it? I think that's got some sort of ducted pod on the back of that which is highly steerable by the looks of it off they go that was an interesting little diversion back to the Peugeot one thing I did forget to say is that this car park is free free I tell you <laughs> it's not often you get something free, is it? So that's a good little half day out if ever you're in Felixstowe. Cheers. <laughs>